A medical practitioner is advocating increasing the tax on sugar-sweetened beverages while challenging the fast food industry to provide healthier alternatives. President of the Healthy Caribbean Coalition, Dr. Trevor Hassel, says the tax on sugar-sweetened beverages should be increased to 20% and public health education ramped up. There is a lot of um, good international uh, evidence now that says that the most... Uh, that one needs to impose a tax of at least 20% on sugar sweetened beverages uh, to achieve the objective we're looking for. I think it is important for me to use this opportunity to point out that uh, certainly we in the Healthy Caribbean Coalition and, and in public health in general in Barbados, we see the tax as an, in, as an important public health measure a, an important public health measure that needs to be applied and, uh, together with uh, inf informing the public of the, of the challenges and the adverse effects of the consumption of sugar sweetened beverages. So we see that, uh, so what we're saying is yes, there's a need to increase the, the tax as a public health measure. And even as we do so, we need to continue to inform uh, the, the public of, the, of the, um, the health benefits, shall we say, of the lower consumption of, of sugar. Dr. Hassel said a tax should also be applied to unhealthy fast food in the best interest of the health of the people because there was a link between chronic diseases and overconsumption of fast food. He was speaking as a Healthy Caribbean Coalition and the University of the West Indies signed a Memorandum of Understanding aimed at combating the high levels of non-communicable diseases in the region. Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Open Campus Dr. Luz Longsworth inked the MOU Tuesday at the campus's Learning Centre.